The Minnesota Fighting Vikings have had a piss-poor roll of the injury dice concerning their rookie offensive lineman. First-round pick Christian Derisaw has been sidelined since OTAs with a groin that had been surgically repaired in January. Third-round pick Wyatt Davis, no matter what, had an ankle issue that forced him to miss Saturday night practice as well as the first two practices of this week. But some good news straight from Dr. Zimzim himself. Sean Borman, NFL, tweeted this out yesterday. Mike Zimmer on KFAN, he was on with Barrero, said he's hoping for Christian Derisaw to be back next Monday and Wyatt Davis, he, he He's hoping to be back for tomorrow, a.k.a. today, Wednesday practice. Now, yes, at least Zimmer didn't call these injuries a tweak. And Zimmer alluded to in an earlier presser that he was aware that the tweak had become a meme. But it's got to stay, and he's got to own it, man. Like Just like how he maybe, allegedly, probably murdered a bunch of stuffed animals in 2016 to motivate the team. I can still hear their little furry screams. But overall, this is very good news for the two rookies. Uh, I thought it was smart for the Vikings to take it very slow and cautiously with Derisaw. It was a good sign that he didn't start training camp on the pup list, which could have led him to be missing the first six games of 2021. And with Davis, a.k.a. baby Alvin Mack, he had practiced well until he had that ankle and was working with the twos both at center and right guard his natural position. And if both get back on the field before next week's joint practices with the Broncos and the three preseason games, they could still make some waves because Rashad Hill has been solid, but he's He's also been held out of practice times with some potential injuries of his own. I don't think that he's cemented the left tackle spot by any means, so maybe Derisaw could get into that race late. And right guard, I do think it will be Ole Udo. I think they are leaning towards that way. I think that he's shown much brighter than Dakota Dozier, but Davis could still make a big push later on in camp. Either way, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And if the Vikings are able to get both these offensive linemen back on the field healthy for the meat of training camp, let's go do it man like viva la o-line like don't give up hope let's go baby but your thoughts vikings could potentially get davis and derisaw back soon let us know in the comment section below subscribe for daily vikings takes we'll support that work post on the Venmo. but until next time skull production value 